Hello and welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. This episode is the last one in day nine, doing drums. Unfortunately, I must say, I like doing drum modules. Uh, and of all the drums I've done so far, I still haven't found a kick that I liked uh, enough. So I thought I would do an 808 kick. And this is another module. Actually, this is a, a video that was sent to me, uh, suggested that I should make this one. It's from a guy called Juanito Moore, uh, who has a YouTube channel. Uh, and if you're into synth DIY, DIY modular stuff like that, then you really need to go and look at his channel. He's taken all standards, thrown them out the window. He's making a modular in uh, in um, tuna cans and uh, with RCA cables as connectors. So not very many standards uh, used there, but super impressive modular. He makes really nice modules, schematics and music with that uh, modular. So I can really recommend you. I'll put the link to his channel in the description. Uh, and I also got to sit down with him and have an interview kind of um, moment. So I will also um, release that so you can uh, see and listen to that. And that will also be uh, released as a podcast on the Magpie Pirates podcast. Link in the description for that as well when that time comes. So one of the many modules he has done is the 808 kick, Music for the Masses. That's what his project is called, Music for the Masses version of the 808 kick. Uh, the reason I do that one is it is a bit stripped down from the uh, 808 uh, kick uh, project, bass drum, 808 bass drum project, I think it's called. I'll link to that as well if you want to make the true 808 kick. This one is a bit simplified, but in the process also has a few extras that we'll look look at. Uh, so I'd like to say thank you to my patrons who make it possible to do these videos. Uh, and if you become a patron, there's a few more things you can do and watch over there and other than that, you're just supporting me a little extra by becoming a patro patron. So with that said, let's go and look at the schematics and how to build this one. All the information for this project you can find in Juanito Moore's video. You can build this 808 kick drum clone. Uh, modular for the masses. That's his uh, thing for making a modular. And as you can see, this is a, it's a two and a half hour long video. And that's because he goes through the schematics and then he actually builds the whole circuit. Uh, and that means that two and a half hours you can build this. And you see here, he is actually using paper instead of PCBs. And he links to that as well, which I'll show in a bit. And a few hours later, you will have a little kick drum module like so. And here you see part of his very whimsical um, modular. So go and check out his channel for many interesting sounds from this beast. So anyway, in the description, he talks a lot about it and then you get the bill of materials, the circuit page and the schematics. And the bill of materials, it's good. There's only one IC, a few semis and then just passive components after that. Uh, the Here's the circuit page that he mentioned. So this is if you want to use a paper to build your uh, Modular, you can do it by following this layout, so to say. 
to build it. And he, he uses this mode. He uses this kind of circuitry, and he also builds small, almost uh, installations or pieces of art out of components that then becomes a module. It's he's. If I think that I am compact in my design from time to time, when I tend to put things very close to each other, he is even more so in some of his designs. And then here is his stripped down version of the, uh, I'd say this is a, a stripped down version of the TR808 bass drum DIY project. I'll link to this one as well if you want to have the a really, really true clone of the TR-808 drum, bass drum. Uh, so that is that one. And then we go back to his, which builds very much on this design. You can follow along. If you have any trouble here, you can just double check with the uh, 808 bass drum project. Uh, but Juanito added a few more things. He added the pitch, which isn't in the original one, which makes it possible to do really growling bass drums and up to uh, quite high. And also the clipper, which is just a switch connected to ground, which gives it a kind of distortion kind of sound, which we'll listen to later as well. He also very thoroughly goes through how to co connect the potentiometers, which is good. I have a tendency to always get these backwards. So building this, it takes two hours for him uh, doing that and about that for me as well, I guess. I did get some trouble uh, when I had built it. My pitch didn't work at all. I, when I turned the knob, it didn't work at all. Uh, and I solved that by cutting this uh, emitter on this transistor here to ground. By removing that one, I got the pitch to work. Probably not the correct way, and I probably have an error somewhere in my circuit. But after checking it four or five times, I still haven't found it. And that was the only thing that did any kind of, of difference. Uh, my decay is therefore, or it could be uh, connected to that, is very sensitive. So I switched the 500k to a 100 analog or 100 logarithmic k, 100k logarithmic pot. So also good to know. And the panel, I like the Eurac format, square, boring, but this is the one I ended up with. It's 4 HP, and I figured I can actually have two jacks side by side in a 4 HP, so it gives a bit more space for all the potentiometers and the switch that is on this one. And the final result is what you see here, and here's the front panel. And I did mess up one bit there. Forgot to exchange that from the previous module. And quite a lot of space left on the PCB. Alright, so here we have the finished module in the rack. Let's turn up the volume here. So we can start by using the pitch. decay I think we can go even lower there we have a rumbling bass and then we have the tone on that that's adding more click short snappy bass and then we add the clipper and we 
go up in pitch a bit. is very sensitive in the way I built it so I exchange it for a 100 kilo ohm uh, logarithmic instead of linear So as I said, this is the last episode of day 9 doing drums. But there are so many cool drums, drum modules out there DIY that I wish I had the time to make and I will make these modules as well uh, later on. But not now because we really need to go on and get some sequencers done. Uh, but a few of the honorable mentions and the three modules I still wanted to do uh, was the Barton Musical Instruments or Barton Musical Electronics, uh, the Analog Drum, which is kind of like the DS7, but different. Also very good for bass drums, uh, the sounds I've heard. Some strange combination there uh, I'm really looking forward for that one as well also Barton uh, musical electronics uh, FM drum which is a bit like the XOR bell combined with the DS7 so also very special uh, but so also sounds very interesting 
And then there's the, I got a link from, and actually I got some PCBs from David Haliant of his uh, 606 bass drum. So I have a 606 and I really like that bass drum as well. Uh, but I had to choose between two. I took the 808 uh, for this because it was much simpler to do. He uh, has, there are many schematics out there. He has just uh, refined his schematics to 1.2 I think and he also sells uh, PCBs for this sometimes um, and I got some of these PCBs and I actually got three uh, but uh, of the older module the or the older version 1.1 and I don't need to build three uh, of these so I'm going to do a giveaway you don't need to do anything but to make it a giveaway. I'm putting up a, a raffle copter, I think it is. You just sign up there and you can get one uh, of these boards. The other ones, the other board is... Uh, I'm doing a giveaway over on Patreon and then one I'm keeping for myself to build this. Um, yeah, so link to the raffle thingy copter uh, in the description if you want to have a have the chance to get a PCB for that uh, and again I want to if you make PCBs uh, of, of things that you make it's always fun to share them with others uh, I sent some of mine PCBs to him and he sent some to me and I've done that with other people as well it's a cheap way to get really many fun modules. So with that said, I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next episode for some sequencers. Like, subscribe, bell, do all that and take care. Bye.